Hi, everybody. Um, this is Jessica Garrett Mills, and this is a brief little story here about a day in the life of a college student with executive functioning challenges. So I, I have known this student, I have worked with this student. Let's imagine that you are a student who struggles with all the things we've been talking about all year. And after a night on dirty sheets, which you haven't figured out how to wash yet, you wake up at 10 a.m. for a 10:10 class. Your alarm didn't go off because you have used the alarm on your phone and your phone died overnight. This happens all the time. You don't have time to shower or eat and you consider not going to class because walking in late again will be mortifying. You decide to go, but you forget to take your medication on the way out the door. You'll try to remember to take it after class, but you'll forget. On the way, you see a friend and stop to chat. Now you're 15 minutes late for class, and when you arrive, you miss the professor's explanation of the project that's coming up. You're not sure where or how to get that information now that you missed it, and you're not sure how to contact your professor in a non-embarrassing way. Self-advocacy is hard. You decide to wait and see if she mentions the project again next class. The lecture-based class is kind of boring for you, and you have peer notes as an accommodation that you rely on, so you just zone out and check your phone for much of the rest of class. At the end of class, there's a quiz over last night's reading, which you didn't do because you didn't check the syllabus and the teacher didn't explicitly mention the reading in class. Failing that quiz is really upsetting, makes you feel like you're dumb and you probably shouldn't be at college at all. And you start sort of spiraling out because you lack that emotional regulation. Why does this keep happening to you? You fight back tears and run out of class before the professor can call you over to explain the project, which she knows you missed that explanation and would have happily explained it to you. You have three hours until your next class. It's math, which has daily homework, which is easier for you to stay on top of. But you've forgotten your math book in your dorm room and your rush out in the morning. You decide to grab lunch before heading back. At lunch, you run into some friends who invite you to play video games for a little while. You still have two hours before math class, so you head off with your friends and you figure it makes sense to kind of calm yourself down anyway. The next time you check your watch though, you only have 30 minutes until math. You, sh you should still have time to do your math homework though. You run to your dorm, grab your math text, scan, scan the assignment, which you now realize is much longer than you suspected and you won't have time to complete it. But maybe you'll start it at least. You're not sure how to do the first problem, and so you stall out. You feel defeated because you haven't started your homework at all. You rush to class and arrive on time. Buoyed by that small victory that you got there on time, you decide to ask for an extension and make up the assignment tonight. After class, your prof professor reluctantly gives you until tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. to finish the assignment. Victory number two, the pressure is off a little bit. And without that intense pressure, you remember tonight is wing night at the bar down the street and you always go. You're meeting someone special there tonight and there will be time for math homework after wings. After all, the bar closes at 2 a.m. and homework isn't due until 6 a.m. As you walk to get wings, you have a vague memory of a paper that's due in psychology at the end of the week. Hmm, maybe the professor will remind everyone what it's about tomorrow. So, that's a little fairy tale about a student who struggles with executive functioning once they get to college. Um, and this is what we are trying to help our students avoid, especially those who are college bound are about to launch into a world with many fewer constraints, many fewer supports. And it is our job, insofar as we are able to equip them to make that transition and there's lots that we can be doing in our transition planning for students um, in high school so that at least some of these things are not so much of a struggle for them. Thanks for watching and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.